After misreading inflation for most of last year, the Federal Reserve seems to be trying to break it. Fed hikes its benchmark interest rate by 0.75, three quarters of a percentage point, the biggest increase since 1994. Could their inflation fighting efforts break the economy too? A growing number of economists think so. In fact, Here's one saying that very thing. The Federal Reserve is going to hike interest rates until policymakers break inflation. But the risk is that they will also break the economy. Suggesting the worst could be yet to come, he added, Growth is slowing, and the effect of the tightening in financial market conditions and removal of monetary policy have yet to hit the economy. In other words, the economy is already showing signs of moving backwards, and that's before it feels the effects of jumbo-sized rate hikes. It does seem like we're seeing the economy lose steam right before our eyes. Economists predicted GDP would grow by 1% last quarter. Instead, it dropped by 1.5%. And last week, the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta projected 0% growth for this quarter. That outlook prompted Newsweek to declare that the U.S. is already in recession. We keep hearing that things really aren't that bad because consumers are spending. Except now we see signs that consumer spending a fundamental driver of economic output is on the decline. For example, following a 0.7 increase in April, retail sales took a giant step backwards in May, dropping 0.3%. Economists and analysts across the board are raising their recession expectations. Last week, Bloomberg reported that the S&P 500 now implies an 85% chance of a U.S. recession amid fears of a policy error by the Federal Reserve, according to J.P. Morgan Chase and Co. strategists. Even the Federal Reserve now sounds less confident that an economic downturn can be avoided. For nearly all of last year, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell told us that inflation was merely transitory. In a congressional testimony on March 2nd, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said that it is more likely than not that the central bank can achieve what we call a soft landing in the economy. Here's what Powell said last week about pulling off that task of a soft landing. It's not getting easier, it's getting more challenging. Navigating this economy is like a pilot trying to navigate a plane when both engines go out. In 2009, Captain Sullenberger did just that, landing his plane on the Hudson, no debts, miracle. Now you have to ask yourself, is Fed Chair Jerome Powell that one in a million pilot that can land this economy softly. Because right now, it appears that most economists and even the Federal Reserve are scrambling to turn on the fasten seatbelt signs. How we land, nobody knows right now. But as we get closer to that tarmac, we'll keep you up to date. Hey guys, Joe Montana here with my man Devlin Steele. He and his team at Augusta Precious Metals are constantly putting out new information to keep you ahead of the game. Click subscribe now and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. You'll be glad you did.